We welcome you into 12th Man Studios. Good to have you with us. April 26th in Arlington, the NFL Draft gets underway. Texas A&M hoping to have a first-round pick for the eighth year in a row. In 2017, the number one overall selection was this man, Miles Garrett, from our football program. He was taken by the Cleveland Browns, and as he gets ready to head back up to do some work with his team, he stops by. And I want to go back to start us all off to that night a year ago. What runs through your mind when you hear your name called out immediately with that pick? Excitement. I mean, I knew it was gonna it was gonna come early from the, the meetings that I had with you know teams who were earlier on in the draft. But uh, and I was still nervous that you know maybe I'd be two, three. But I was excited for whoever I win and whoever's gonna take a chance on me. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's differences in the National Football League and the college game. What stuck out the most to you going through your first year at the professional ranks? Biggest difference that really weighed out in your mind? Two big things to me. One is time management because uh, you don't have school, you don't have other things taking up your, your time really, so you have to really focus on what you need to do you know, when you're not you know, at practice or at the facility, you know, just how you can get better you know, without a coach being there. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, Two is, you know, you really don't focus you know, too much on individual, you know, trying to get the, the player specifically better. That's, that's a lot on you, you know. In college, you know, they do it a lot. You do a lot of individual drills. You're trying to, you know, increase your, your skill as, in the, uh, as an individual. But uh, in the NFL, you, know, you kind of as a, a finished package to them, and they're just trying to give you the scheme and tell you where to go, and you have to work on the rest by yourself. Mm -hmm. Any year two goals that you've laid out for yourself like we said you're gonna head back to cleveland soon get things going with the browns again but have you sat down and and almost laid out year two what you want from it uh and i want a winning season hmm. uh, i think anybody can say that but uh and i want to be you know, top 10 defense and i want to lead the the league in uh, turnovers or at least force turnovers and so if we can do that as a, a defense, you know, we'll be something to reckon with. And I know offense will turn it around and you know, we can be you know, somebody who's, who's scared to play is something to look forward to. Have you ever felt the pressure that comes with being the first pick of an NFL draft? High expectations are placed on a person like that. Have you ever felt that uh, during your time as a professional? Uh, not really. I just try and play my game. I don't really focus on you know, the, the hype that, that comes with it. You know, and the guys who uh, I I was introduced to on the team when I first got there, you know, they they didn't really you know see me as that. You know, they just saw me as you know another one of the guys who's going to work hard and uh, keep his head low. Mm -hmm. And so that's that's kind of my, been my mentality you know throughout my career, and I hope to keep it that way. Mm -hmm. Like we said, the draft it's coming up again, late April. A and M hopes to have a player taken in the first round for the eighth consecutive year. We'd like it to be Christian Kirk. Mm -hmm. Is he the guy to continue the streak? Uh, he should be the guy. You no, know, he's he's got my nod to you know get in the first round, and he definitely deserves it. You know, he's a dual threat. He can uh, be a special teams nightmare, or he can uh, he can he can burn you for two hundred yards. You no, know, just you no know, playing receiver. So you no. Know, Guys like that don't come around very often, as well as being level-headed, you know, great gentleman. I believe that he should, uh, he should get that, uh, that nod and honestly be in the, the top 20. Mm -hmm. uh, finally, before you go, a new coach for your old program, Jimbo Fisher's here now. Just your thoughts on having him come in from Florida State University. Uh, I mean, it gives uh, the fans and people hope around here that uh, – Know that we, we will be able to, to turn it around and you know, eventually go to the playoffs and you know, make a big run. And uh, that's, that's good to see. I like to see the excitement on their face as well as the, the, uh, the team's face, knowing that you know, we have something new coming in, whether it's him and his new package and you know, what that offers. And just to know that you know, we got a whole new, whole new thing coming in where uh, you know, it's, a, it's a new slate. Well, I mean, things can be deadly. just depends on how things shake out and you know, how the guys react to it. Right, good to see you back in Aggieland. Good luck as you head back to Cleveland pretty soon. Yes, sir. Thank you.